Hey, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I'm EJ, and uh, one thing you may not know about me is that uh, I'm actually an international student here in Malaysia. Uh, I'm a proud Filipino, uh, grew up there for almost half my life, and uh, when we first moved to Malaysia for the first time, uh, it was such a different experience. And uh, the, the, the most ironic part is I, I kind of sort of look Malay. I lived here for years and people would still come up to me and, and, um, and start conversations with like Malay and I don't know. I never like knew how to properly address that. I don't know, it's still awkward, but you know, I try to um, learn the language to learn everything. Uh, I love the food and I love the people. Um, with that said, on that note, let's have over our guests, Kray and Natsuki, um, a Malaysian and international student to come over uh, and talk uh, about our cultures. Hey, hi, what's up guys? Hi. Hello. Hi. hi. All right, we have Crit and uh, Natsuki. Hello. Um, so we have two teams. We have Malaysia and International. Which one is which? Malaysia representative here, Crit speaking. I am from Japan. Oh, whoa. It's my third year here. Um, did you come here for education? Did you come here? I mean, yeah. I'm a Taylorian. <laughs> Proud Taylorian at that. Proud Taylorian. We're all here. Are you going back to... Uh, to Japan after? After this, I have no plan actually. Maybe I will stay here. Maybe <laughs> I will go to a different country. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll cross the bridge when we get there. <laughs> Wing it. Okay, how about you, Cray? What's your plans? Are you gonna move From... to Japan? You gotta switch places? Just... <laughs> to be really honest, I've been to Japan um, oh, in the past two years like, ago, I guess, before the pandemic hits. I've been to Kyoto and Osaka and it was really a great place. I, I find it very fun when it's actually opposite from Tokyo and Kyoto. It's like, yeah. oh, you can just switch <laughs> yeah, around. Yeah, I realize, you like Tokyo Kyoto. <laughs> Tokyo is Tokyo in Japan, in Japanese. Oh, and oh. Kyoto is just Kyoto. Oh, okay. Can you? Yeah, you learn new things every day. <laughs> That's so interesting. Um, you lived here for like two years, so um, have you tried Malaysian food? How was it? What do you think? What do you think? What have you tried? I've tried a lot. Um, I've tried nasi lemak. Okay. Um, <laughs> Great. Chao kwe tiao. Chao kwe tiao? Yes! <laughs> oh, and um, mi goreng. Ooh! Oh, yes. and my favorite, my favorite was um, mi raja. Miraja is another type of uh, mi. Uh, it, it's actually quite famous in Penang. I'm actually from Penang as well. So yeah, it's a type of Malaysian cuisine. Ooh. Yeah, but like, I mean, kale's fine too, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you are not comparing food with Penang. <laughs> uh, Natsuki, like, what is, if someone were to ask you, what would be the absolute best Japanese cuisine? Uh, what would it be? I would recommend Onigiri with just with a salt with salt. Onigiri. Onigiri. Because Japanese rice is very, very nice. The rice is completely different from like basmati rice and like sticky rice in Malaysia. If it's your first time then you should try like and like the plain rice with a little bit of salt and sweet. That's just it. Yeah, you can the taste of the rice, the Japanese rice, and now a little bit of Malaysian bahasa Malayu. No way, <laughs> no. Shoot us some. What do you know? No, just a little bit. Me too. Me too. A little bit. Take it, Saja. I don't. Take it, take it. Philippines. Do you guys speak Malay? No, right? No. It's Filipino, right? It's not like it's different. It's similar words but they're still different we have common words we have like similar words like tulong is help tolong is help you know? uh, yeah they're yeah it sounds a lot different so when like transitioning here it was not so like hard um you just had to like learn more and stuff but anyways that's okay what what else like show off your malay skills oh jom lepak jom lepak this is a good one <laughs> jom lepak. i bet yeah this is the under friends influence where the friends will always say like Jom lepa. <laughs> like let's go. <laughs> hey, um, um. All right. um, speaking of that, all right. Next up, um, people. What are the differences in people? 
、um, in Japan and in Malaysia. Would you notice? I think Malaysians are more friendly. Like I- Japanese are sh- more shy. I think. Like when I first came to Malaysia, I was kind of surprised. Many people came and talked to me, like strangers. So, like I felt, oh, they are very, very friendly. In Japan, if you see strangers, they don't talk to them. <laughs> they are just. I felt different though when I went there, like、uh, just for a quick holiday. They were very friendly to me, and they really translated into English and talked to us. And I was quite surprised because in Malaysia, I see Malaysia as a very selfish kind of not not to not to defame Malaysia, but you know people <laughs> like me when I'm at the airport, I usually would just like I'm the one like that. I would just nah, but they approach me. So yeah, that's a different perspective from from my end. That's why.、Oh, yeah. I think being foreigner, like between being foreigner、attention. and being local, is kind of different.、Mm-hmm. You know, like you are、yes. local in Malaysia, right? So maybe yeah. like yeah. no one cares.、Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm just being real. So like, it's an overgeneralization, but like, I think I, I think that's、um, just how people are. Let's talk about weather. Um, obviously, it's very different from、uh, Malaysia and、uh, and Japan. How do you find that? Japan has four seasons. During summer, actually, Japan gets really, really, really hot. Like sometimes it's even hotter than Malaysia. I didn't know that. So, like Malaysia is always hot, right? It's completely fine to me. But sometimes I miss. Like the autumn feeling, like spring feeling, and yeah, I like the weather in Malaysia. I, yeah. Natsuki, do you know that Malaysia also have four seasons? I I bet you did. I kind of see where this is going. Okay. Four seasons. Four seasons. Four seasons. Okay. Ah.、Uh? So, the four seasons we have is hot. Okay. Very hot. Extremely hot. And also the last <laughs> one will be. Re- Rain for ten minutes, it's hot again. That's the four seasons we have in Malaysia. Wait, the the, the fourth one is the worst one. It's like it's it, like moist and it's hot. Yeah. Bro, what is that? Like what is that? Just stay at home, bro. Like <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> like after it rains, it's still hot. It doesn't、yeah. have a cool like yeah humid feeling at all. It's just yeah. It's like that's sauna. the best part, right? Like you don't have to feel cold, and you can wear like sh- shorts and. T-shirts like all year round. It's I want to、so、rock、nice. like a whole hoodie with like a denim like jacket、no. on top of the hoodie. No, exactly. And, like a beanie bag, and that would look、What? just so cool. But you can't do that in Malaysia. If you did that in Malaysia, people would be like giving you crazy ass looks. Like, what are you doing? But now I guess like since you're at home for like most of the time, you can just turn on the AC the whole day and just feel like you're in, you're in Japan. So you can you can wear your foodies, your favorite foodies in, in your room, room right? <laughs> in my room. But like, what's the point? Now, second segment、uh, is called "What Would You Do."、Uh, I'll, you guys, I'll give you guys a couple scenarios, and you tell me,、um, as from the Malaysian team and the international team, what would you do in that scenario? All right, I guess ready. Okay, first off, what will you do if you're studying abroad and、uh, you got locked out of your dorm in the middle of the night? What would you do? Would you like set up camp outside of your dorm, just like sleep there, wait for for someone to help you in the morning, sleep on the floor? To be honest, I would really do that. I would just sleep on the floor and wait for someone to rescue. Since I'm in a foreign country with no one, I would just stay there. I'm so afraid, and it's the middle of the night, though. It's even scarier. Just sit there, wait, see if someone could rescue me. I don't think I can sleep. Like, I would be too scared to sleep, so I would just stay up and. Wait for the morning to come. <laughs> What would you do to pass time? Like, if you're gonna stay up, it's gonna be a long time. Tick tock, tick tock. Wow, you scroll through. Um, next up, if your parents decided to move to a to the country you're studying in, what would you do? Actually, I would be so happy if my parents decided to、hmm. come and. 
like live with me because I've been studying in New Zealand like before I came to Malaysia so for me it's okay just having your parents around you is the best thing that's so sweet for me um, I never actually experienced it but uh, if I were uh, really be put in such situation I would really be happy as well same as Natsuki how, how she actually felt because um, you actually felt very secure with your family with you that's how I felt okay I like I like both of you guys answers um, <laughs> but yeah I think I think it's just different if okay well I'm actually currently like living under my parents right um, and so I guess it's just different because my whole life I've just been around them and everything and so I guess for a little bit you know uh, you, if you move to a different country it would be a breath of fresh air because um, it's, it's gonna be a completely different experience and you know you move there and then your parents move along with you i'm like oh okay um you know it's kind of like what's the point but uh, yeah like i 100 percent agree with like what you guys said <laughs> your parents are there for you 100 and they're the best kind of people in the world on that sweet note if you're dating uh someone from the overseas country you're studying in um and he slash she asks to marry you what would you do what's gonna happen would you move to a different country for a girl slash guy? Maybe. <laughs> Wait, that's that look on Natsuki's face. Is this? Do you is there, do you have a man here in Malaysia? Oh. Um, do you have a, nah. <laughs> you have a partner here. If I visited his country and if I loved it, then I would go. <laughs> if you met a Malaysian uh, person partner. I don't think honest. I would. <laughs> Oh no, Malaysians. I didn't say that I don't like Malaysians. It's okay, we understand. We understand. Don't panic. Don't panic. I just said I don't want to stay in Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just joking. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I was just joking. <laughs> She's, you're guilt tripping here, man. Like. Okay, so um, for me, right? Uh, to be honest, it's about the feeling that you have with that particular person. So it doesn't matter where is it. Yeah, I, I enjoy traveling, so why not? <laughs> Why not? Next one. If you get a job offer a day before you head back to your home country, what would you do? I think I would reject the offer. What if it's like the pay is incredibly high and you just can't, you can't reject it? Then it's gonna be so hard. <laughs> <laughs> She's undecided. High pay, good pay. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if your salary is high, then you can you can get a job, and after that, you can travel around, right? So uh, you can do good both. Point. Good point. <laughs> good point. At the same time, then you can uh, you met like your partner here in Malaysia, and then you just stay here and then travel with them. So win-win. High paying yeah, job, man, your yeah. partner, travel. So win-win. This is really yeah. a dream. Like a dream. Like I'm painting out the, the best possible picture for you. Exactly. And you're still you're still decisive. Regardless what, mine would be stay. I would definitely take the job. I mm. mean, yeah. I won't, a job is a job. Yeah. Right. It's an opportunity. Yeah. So why not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? Chase the bag. You know, yeah. go for it. I feel like I feel like we've had enough of that segment. <laughs> Let's move on um, to the last segment of the show. We have um, pardon, guess the slang. So we've actually from um, each party um, collected our own uh, slangs um, from our own respective cultures and uh, and languages. So not only did you guys find your slangs for your own, own language, but also I did uh, for Filipino. Um, so we present it to each other, and you guys you guys have to guess what those slang words mean. Are you guys ready? Okay. It's gonna be interesting. Let's start off uh, with my uh, language, Filipino. Okay, you guys okay. ready? Yeah. Okay. Weird. That word is Joa. Uh, I don't have a Joa right now. A girlfriend. Oh, not. No. <laughs> I gave it away. <laughs> oh, dude, that's that kind of hurts, bro. Like you would just think that I'm single like that. That kind of hurts, bro. <laughs> It's pretty really no, obvious, I mean, like, you don't have something. <laughs> Joa, interest. I'm not what? interested in it. Um, it's like, no? you, you don't have it, you don't have it. I don't have a Joa too. Cray, you said you don't have a Joa? You don't, have, you don't oh. have a Joa. It's okay, we can both have no Joa together. Hmm. Ah! 
Joa means girlfriend. Oh my gosh. Why when I say I don't have, then Natsuki can get it. Does that look that obvious right now? See, now you know how I mean. Now, now you know how I feel. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, but the thing about Joa is it works both ways. It could be boyfriend and uh, girlfriend. So Natsuki, you could also have a Joa, and I could also have a Joa. So it's so yeah, uh, Joa. Um, wait, Natsuki, do you have a Joa? Nah. Hey, no Joa again. No Joa. Yeah. No Joa. No Joa. No Joa. Next up, uh, we'll have some from Natsuki's side. Now, okay, I'm gonna try my best to pronounce it. Yabai. I knew yeah. I know this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bye. Okay, nice. Wait, but uh, sorry, I don't think I would get it right. Maybe. Yeah, Not me. Means... No, you guys right? No, I like. No, no, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. yeah, bye doesn't mean no. Let's say your uh, the date your assignment due is tomorrow, and you just realize that. Then you can say, oh, ah, yeah, bye. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, bye. It's like, oh my gosh, right? Like, oh my gosh. Oh. The homework. Yeah, yeah oh bye. my gosh. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bye can be used for a good, like, like a good situation and also a bad situation. Like, <sighs> like now, oh, I forgot the due date. Yeah, bye. But, you know, like, if you. If you eat something very, very delicious, then you can say, Yeah, bye! Mm. Oh, I see! Okay, next up, Malaysian. Kautim. <laughs> Kautim. Kautim. <laughs> Kautim. <laughs> Nothing to do with animals, no counts involved, no counts. <laughs> okay. Kautim. Kautim, I'm ready. Uh, no, he's <laughs> not ready. So you and your friends are doing group assignment together. So out of sudden, your friends say that, oh. Yes, Kau team already. Kau team already. Finish already. Yes, I'm done. Yes. We're done. We're done. Kau team. Done. Okay. <laughs> Filipino, chica chica. Chica chica. Chica chica. Oh, actually, Japanese has same word. Like, chica chica means like twinkle. Oh. Okay, it's not that Winkle. at all. It's very far from. Chica chica, hurry up. Um, let's go have tea in chica chica. Let's go have um a drink in chica chica. By the beach. Le park. Uh, kind of like the park, kind of like the park, but not not hundred percent like the park. Let's go hang out. It's hanging out, but it's more than that. Let's go eating. Uh, let's let's eat. go shopping. You can chica chica anywhere. Okay, okay. I'll tell you this one thing, and I'm pretty sure it will just. Re It'll help you out a lot. It's like a thing like a lot of aunties do, you know? Go see it. Gossip, yeah. Gossip, yeah. Gossip! Go see it. Mm -hmm. This one. Bojo. Bojo. Bonjour. Bonjour? <laughs> no, it's all bonjour. bonjour. It's something that is very sarcastic when you say it out. Is it kind of like da? No? Da? No. no. Nah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> Imagine um, your friends, they went to somewhere that uh, they went to the movies and they came back, you are not there, okay? And you you went up to them, you you just went up to them and said that, eh, hey, bochio ah. That's it. Oh, you left me. Uh, it's no. somewhere there, but it's a question. So it's like, uh, why you didn't invite me? So yeah, the answer is actually, why didn't, why you, invite didn't you invite me? me? <laughs> yeah. Bochio. Oh, look, it's that. Wow, it's so long. Just one word and yeah. It, oh, it's it really... exactly like my friends always like said bojo to me, but I couldn't Whoa. understand what I thought it was. Yabai, like, yabai. Was like, wow. Yabai, yabai. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one's kind of funny because it's what? three letters. <laughs> is this Natsuki? Is it more like you use it in text? It's it, yeah, it's for texting. Ah, uh, I think it means ha ha ha. Like you are laughing. It's very funny. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Is it three or can you like spam it? W W W like straight. There's no like proper pronunciation for it. In Japanese, to laugh is walau. 
So voila, we delete all the all the like letters and just leave W and W W oh. W is voila voila. Yes, we have got it, guys. <laughs> that was incredibly yabai. Um, that was so yabai. Okay, uh, we learned so much about each other. Um, so much about our culture and everything. It's crazy. Um, with that said, uh, I hope everyone here learned a little bit about everyone's culture here uh, from the Jap- from uh, international students everywhere watching this. Thank you for tuning in. Um, make sure to leave a like and comment what country you're from if you're an international student. Leave it down below and stay tuned for the next episode of the Taylor's Talk Show. Bye, guys. Thank you. See you. Bye. <laughs>